the last time I released music was pre-iTunes. In fact, it was pre-YouTube. So addressing putting out music now in this period for someone in my period, this period of my life, I realized that the only way I want to put out music is, in a, is conceptually in a way which um, takes it beyond just the run of the mill release. And so the whole idea for format really came up from that. You know, I've worked in producing, uh, designing record covers, music marketing since I was a teenager. Um, and the physical formats of music is something that's been very, very important to me since I first started. Twelve formats are in no particular order. We have a DAT, uh, we have a USB, a cassette, mini disc, uh, mini CD, CD, seven, ten, 12, the eight track and the reel to reel as well. So that's, that's, yeah, that's all the 12 and the VHS. There is a, an edit of a video piece I've, I've been working on for a while. So whoever buys a VHS is buying a unique piece of video art as well at the same time. I've put together an audio visual um, installation which runs alongside the, um, the music. It's a kind of concern for me because I, part, you know, I was so excited about the concept that I didn't want that to overtake the music. And hopefully, you know, I, you know, I'm really proud of the music. I think, you know, I made like 150 tracks, more than that. And I picked 12 that I think work together and maybe represent a lot of the different things I've been working on. And for me, they're as strong as the concept, you know, the idea of, of um, you know, taking one of these objects and playing it. And the ri a lot, it's, it's ritual as well. I mean, there's so many different layers and levels to, to this project, but the ritual of playing music and buying music as well is as important to me as the music. There's only 25 of these mini discs. They buy this, they're not meant to upload it anywhere, play it to their friends, but don't share it anywhere. So for a period of time, they're the only people on the planet with this track. And I wish, I wouldn't mind if, if, I, if I was a fan of someone's music, then that, I think that's quite a special position to to create for someone. And that's kind of what I want to try and do. The more I've, I've been working on this project, the more I've learned to appreciate the product design of so many beautiful tape machines and DAT machines, even down to the, the digital readouts. You know, someone designed all these things. I've been a, a music industry designer since I was a teenager. So when I approached this project, my first thing was like, wow, what am I going to do? I've got to do something. And then I was like, actually, no, because it's about the formats. So the thing is, it's a, you know, the beauty of this is what vinyl looks like, is what CDs look like, is what that's looked like. So the best thing for me was just to do it as archival as possible. It, it is partly nostalgic. It's romantic to me more than anything. You know, I, you know, I have a, an emotional connection to these objects. It means something to me to show that there is more to music than just the music itself.